Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Acting School of Excellence, where we take uh, sometimes good actors, mostly bad actors, as you've seen if you've been watching, if you've been a student here, mostly a shocking people, bad people and bad actors, uh, because actors are mostly bad people, but, you know, and we support that. That's, that's what it takes. George Clooney. Welcome, everybody. Um... Welcome. Um, someone just said that Craig Russell Horn says evening. I've um, oh, sorry, Craig Russell Horn said evening. I uh, uh, lads streaming just now. Not gonna pay the twenty six thousand pound for tonight's class, but have a belter. Oh, you're not paying the twenty six. It's actually eight hundred pounds, but we'll take the twenty six. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I'll just wait uh, a moment for more people to arrive, and in the meantime, let's talk. Let's just talk about acting. Just me and yourselves let's just talk about it generally because it's so important and it's so often overlooked and you know act hollywood stars are not making enough you know it's it's not fair you clap for carers and yet we don't clap for actors in a theater I'm just gonna read you an excerpt expert from the stanislavski toolkit he's an english guy oh he did um he was an only fools and fools Let's see here. I'll pick a pick a bit at random. Welcome everyone. Welcome. We'll get to our guest in a moment. Just going to pick a bit at random from a very important book. Having found some tentative and intuitive answers to those questions, you don't have to. There's one more question. You need to answer with improvisation. Can proceed. What is the main event of the scene? That's stunning. An event also knows as effective fact is a piece of action. Events are vital part of daily lives, as Stanislavski urges. Well, I don't agree with that. Okay, so it's time to go over to our guest. Uh, let's see if you're if 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 you're there with us. One moment, uh, guest. Just wait there a moment. I just realised I need to, need to do something. Oh, is he... yes. Hello, are you, are you there? Namaste. Nam namaste. That's an acting classic. Uh, <laughs> how are things? Things are things are very well. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me on to the acting masterclass. Uh, I hope I'm useful, and mm -hmm. um, I hope I can answer any of your questions. Oh, usually it's me that does the answering of the key, of the cues, as we say. We call it Q in the industry because of Q and A's. You ever done one? Which industry are you talking about? Acting, drama, we theater. Don't call it that in the acting industry. No, <laughs> oh. We call it questions, questions, questions. Well, it must be. Uh, uh, that's from Shakespeare. That's that's from Shakespeare. Okay. You know. Fair enough. What? Where did you? Where did you uh, train? I train. I uh, train up and down. I train everywhere. I'm always training. You can train in one place. You can train in another. You can move about. You can get on ferries and train. You don't have to go to. I, I, I sense you're already getting at me because Excuse I didn't me. go and train at the same place uh, you did. I, uh, I train constantly. No, nothing but mutual respect here between a couple of actors, professionals. Mm. Uh, I also train all over the place. I trained uh, in a field. Uh -huh. I trained in a co-op. field? Because I know a lot of fields. Um, in Hampstead, where I live. Okay, I know that one, yeah. You know that one, yeah. You train there? No. Okay, well, and, and I've, I've also trained on a ferry to the Isle of Wight. Have you been there? Yes, I have been to the Isle of Wight, yes. yes. Wonderful place. Wonderful place. Good people. Lovely people. Go. See, uh, thinking alike, great actors and minds. And Daniel, was it Daniel? Mm, it was, and now it isn't. But what is it you would like to know? Excuse me. What, I'm just going to put it to you straight because, frankly, I'll be totally honest. Yeah. Uh, we have a bunch of acting students with us here, some very, very young actors. Yeah. Uh, eager to learn, eager to train themselves. And Hatchlings. I don't. Yes. And I don't want any of them thinking that they can all train on a ferry because it takes years and years of work. Long time. Absolutely. It takes a long time. So please Absolutely. don't don't attempt that. You could fall mm -hmm. right into the ocean. I'll ask, I'll put a question to you. So I was going to uh, begin by saying, firstly, thank you so much for being here. And your dress code is fit, fair, fair play at the end. You've of dressed, the um, I noticed you've dressed the same as me. No, I dressed. Wonderful dress, to see. You've dressed like this since wonderful. 1972. I've always thought if I can influence uh, the younger generation in any uh, way. Uh, I'm, older than, I'm older than yourself. 
Mm, how old are you now? 65. I'm 66. <laughs> and... And... Excuse me. And... <laughs> and I'm just going to put this to you, this question oh, to yourself. It was tickling uh, me. It's a very important question. Now, we've had some terrible guests on here, is what I was going to say. We've, uh, to be honest, they've all been bad. I know, uh, I watched. Oh, you've seen, yeah. They, I know, it's bad. I know, and I apologise that you had to see that. Uh, rubbish. Trash, uh, as uh. we call it in the, in the theatre world. Mm-hmm. Um, as Shakespeare said, that's trash. He did actually say trash first. He did. Um, and uh, what's your favourite acting, Daniel? I would say... Come on. Um, Let's hear it. Telephone acting. Oh. Telephone acting. Um, how to act uh, with a telephone. How to respond to other people when they are on the telephone. Because you won't know this, but mm. often as an actor, when you are doing telephone acting, there mm. isn't actually someone on the other end of the telephone. And the mm. acting part comes in, not just in the acting itself, but in the pretending, which is another word for acting, Mm. that you are listening to another actor Mm -hmm. who, remember, if you go back to the start of what I just said, Uh isn't actually there. What was the start? Wait, wait. Uh, um, About the phone? About the phone. Uh, So you have to pretend to have a conversation, and that's very difficult. Is that acting? Yeah. I think it's the purest form of acting. Mm. Um, It wasn't until the invention of the telephone that Mm. actors actually started acting yeah, yeah, yeah they would be just talking just a couple of people on a stage just talking and one would say one thing and the other would respond okay that's interesting mm-hmm, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm, only mm-hmm. Uh, after the advent or post advent uh, i say of the uh, telephonic era oh. did you really get a monologue which is also a duologue except there is no that's duo subjective. only a mono it's not subjective yes, each to their own. It's their own. Let's agree to disagree. Let's but it's agree not. To, let's agree. Let's agree to disagree. Let's agree. Let's. What what movie in particular, or theatrical piece, uh, or or indeed uh, street performers, are you into that have done telephone acting uh, re- recently? Do you know? Even though it's my favourite type of acting, mm. I can't think of a single example. And I think that's because. Acting in its purest form should be forgettable. Um, It Mm. shouldn't be memorable. People talk about the greatest performances of all time. They'll talk about um, Judi Dench in that one she did recently, or was it Helen Mirren? That's a case in point. I don't know. Mm, I don't Um, know. And and, and that's that's what truly great acting is. It's a moment. Do I remember everything I see at a bus stop? No, but it could be dramatic. And that's why I think it could be. So very often the most forgettable performance yeah. should be the most memorable. Very much in the way that the most memorable thing yeah. of your entire life should be the day you were born. Now, let me ask you this. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. Do you remember the day you were born? Uh, shortly after being uh, driven to uh, a McDonald's party for my own birthday. I was one day old. And you, and you remember that? Yeah. You don't? I don't remember. Oh, no. Ah. And what about... So you're saying it's the worst actor that should get the award for best actor at the uh, awards. Is that correct? I'm saying don't focus on what you remember. Mm. Sometimes it's good to focus on what you've forgotten. There are many performances which would, you know, ordinarily by, you know, uh, I don't know, the critics at the Observer say, not that I've got Ugh, particular beef with them. Don't even get me started on. But let's say the Observer have been in and they call your performance, uh, I don't know, randomly, quote, one of the most forgettable performances That's of all That's not the whole time. quote. That's not the whole quote. They didn't say there was just that. It was the entire play. Yes, and yeah, they mentioned was... me by name. Well, however, that's... Yeah. just because of that, just because of the forgettableness, is it not because it was natural? It was a natural performance. I did. I played a blinder there. That was an excellent. The puppets were in that one. I know. So why did you see it? I I I read the review and I was like, mm. I don't think it's for me. But but I appreciate that you did it. You got up and you did it, and that you you should be praised for that. 
Yeah, but I'm, I do a good... Uh, you got any awards? Awards? Well, I, I don't hold much stock with awards. Um, you know, they're trinkets, they're baubles, they are not things I go on about. Um, I forget where they all are. Yep. Um, I stumble over them sometimes. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll be yeah. moving something, I'll be walking around, and I'll, I'll be like, I'll put this somewhere, and um, I just pop it over here, for example. Um, and I'll, this one, I mean. Uh, and I'll pop it here, mm. and then I get on with my day. Yeah. So, really, my message to the hatchlings, as I call them, that's is nice. don't that's a, that's a spot worry class. about it. Don't worry about it. Can know. I just say, before you continue, thank you, Databoy78, for resubscribing. This is worth every penny, to be fair, they said. And thank you, Nazi, for your sign. Can you ask Danny Wallace what wait, it was like wait, meeting wait. Jim Bilal, Jim Bilal, 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 Bilal. Yeah, uh, you know, it's very nice that you were sort of doing that the way you did it, and I enjoyed it. And I'm sure that your subscriber, who paid how much for that? Uh, I think it's 900 for subscribing. 900. And you gave them a very naturalistic kind of thank you is um it was it was almost like everything was up here and then you brought it down and you flatlined it took practice little... it took it took days and days of practice let's that. workshop it let's workshop let's it let's try okay, that do again you want to try it so you let... thank no, 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 no. no i'm here as the teacher remember I think no that's what not quite think... you yeah, that's not really what your agent said they sort of didn't that's not what your agent specified they just said he just needs a pay he just needs ten thousand let's, pounds let's a rider. try it again and let's imagine um, that that you're doing it, but every couple of seconds, yeah. someone shakes your caravan. Okay, give me a moment. Just, I just need to get into it. Just need to get into it. If you just give me a moment. We've all so, got techniques. We've so I'm going to thank Nalzi and read out the the comment they left, which costs a lot of money to leave that. But every couple of seconds. Every couple of seconds. A local youth. Yeah, and you've seen them on the campsite. Yeah, and you've maybe you've had a word with one of them. Yeah. You know, you, you've you've said to them, uh, "Can you keep it down, lads?" And that's they've it. gone out for a couple of bevies, okay. and they've come back that's, and they've seen that you've right. been you've been in bed since quarter past nine, and they're gonna they're gonna bother you now. But yeah. you've got to you've got to get this message across. Go. All right. <clears throat> uh. Nalzi, thank you for ah, thank you for resubscribe. I think I thought I told you, and I was clear about this. Mm. Thank you for re it was like meeting. What was it like meeting Jim Carrey? Was he really funny? Ah, I'll, I'll, I'll get your parents. Scene. I buy it. Thank you. Have I you ever been it. in the caravan? Uh, no. <laughs> Me neither. But but everything you did there yeah. uh, uh, sold the idea to me. Mm. Uh, Thank it, you. I could see the internal logic of the architecture of the caravan. I could mm. hear your little voice bouncing off all of the different walls, the plexiglass. It would, it would do that. Sick. It was, you were panicked, mm. but you knew you had to do something right by Nilesy Boy. So and the Nilesy Boy. And I was imagining by the end there, the caravan was actually turned upside down by two youths because they've had so much monster energy drink. Well, they can do yeah, that. Yeah, I could see it. I I've could read see about it. it. I've read about it. And with the right funding in yeah. a, you know, a, a budget regional theatre, but with a couple of, you know, handy lads, mm -hmm. that's the kind of thing you could do. It would probably have to become right before the intermission mm. so that people could go off for 10 minutes, Amazing. get their yeah. umbongo and their revels. Yeah. come back and then the caravan is upside down and you continue and you know i would be willing to invest how much do you have in the bank well that's a question um it depends whether you mean the bank of goodwill or the bank of NatWest. money let's talk about the bank of goodwill in your natwest i have learned a lot from uh, fellow actors about how to engender goodwill, how to deposit the goodwill into the cash machine that accepts goodwill, um, and deposit it away for a, for a rainy day. Now, mm. ask me who the greatest actor of all time is. Who's of all time? Tom Hiddleston. Tom, Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston. Hiddleston. Um, it is 
because have you seen him do his Graham Norton impression? Yeah. Could you remind us what it's like? No, because no one apart from Tom Hiddleston Tom. and arguably Graham Norton oh. can do that. Um, Hiddo, Hiddo, as I call him, he has wisdom. Are you uh, close friends these days? Are you still talking? What? Oh. Can't not hear. See, I, I know him very well, and he does many impressions nonstop. How many times have you met him? Maybe 13. You know. 13. I think it was, when I counted, it was 14. I've met him 14, you mean. You've met him 14. I've, yeah, you're right, you have. I, it, with me, it's 15. <laughs> no. Where did you meet him last? Last time? Yeah. The Harvester. Yeah, in Leeds. No. Trick question. There isn't one. Oh, very well played. Didn't have much respect for this particular guest until that moment. And I've got to say, you played a blinder there. You were in a tight I, corner. I knew and, it. Because the harvester was burnt down in Leeds. Yeah. Famously. Yeah. yeah and you obviously is. read the local Leeds. And that every actor should research. Always Leeds. research your stories. Leeds. Now, something we can do now before we continue. Um, oh, firstly, let me see... Um, if anyone has anything to say from the acting students, anything useful or, or good. I'd love to hear it. Okay. Uh, Pixie Cakes Face says, I finally managed to get into one of your streams. I've been waiting for you to... I've been... I lost it. Thank you, Pixie Cakes Face. But it's probably about acting. Mm. Karen Carpenter, can you tell Danny Wallace? Karen Carpenter. Karen Carpenter, yeah, that's the genuine. I know. Wow. There's a lot of, there's a lot of big names in here. Yeah. Uh, Graham Norton's here, which is, is strange that you brought up him up. He does uh, follow me quite closely. Mm. He's a good guy at the end of the day, overall, all things considered. We all have two lives. The second one starts when we realise we have only one. Tom Hiddleston. That's from Huddleston. Yeah. I have your IMDb, DW. Yeah. Now, you've done some acting things. Assass Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. I always thought of running as just dancing forward. You have Tom, H Tom Huddleston's book. Tom Hiddleston. There it is. I'll be doing a few of his uh, pieces tonight. These are just... Things that uh, I agree with, things that uh, appeal to me that Tom Hiddleston has said in various interviews, mm -hmm. sometimes with the Germanic press, sometimes in Japan, where he thought no one would uh, hear it. But I've got them all. And um, these are things that I think your hatchlings uh, will appreciate. Uh, but you had a question. Uh, uh, Tom was alone, a video game narrator voice. Video game, isn't that's not the same as acting, though. Hello. What's your question? Top, top, okay, I've done that one. Yes, man. Man in bar, uncredited. So Uncredited, yes. But is that out of choice? Yeah. Mm. Very much so. Mm. They said, can we credit you for this? And I said, no. No way, please. Um, the work is enough. Uh, it's um, You approach a scene like that, how do I describe it? For those unfamiliar... Mm -hmm. There is a scene near the end of the film of Yes Man in which uh, I am at a bar. Uh, the shot, it's a not pivotal moment. It's powerful and pivotal. And there I am with a pint. And I uh, pretend to drink it. Did you drink any of it? Well, I did, but I also pretended to. I was pretending to drink the drink, even though I was actually drinking it. So that's method acting. We've covered that off. I do that, and then I have to have a chat with a lady. Mm -hmm. However, you'll be unfamiliar with this. Um, in the film acting world, yeah. when other actors, not the main actors, just other ones, are saying lines, you, as um, a cameo artiste, mm -hmm. um, have to speak in the background but not actually say anything. No, I don't well, agree with that. Which bit don't you agree with? Any of what you just said there. And I was like, gaining respect. The respect meter was going up high. And then you've come in and said, oh, acting is not talking. Acting is talking always. If, mm. you're, if you're not talking, that's not acting. 
what about in the in the pre Unlucky. movie sort of era where you know the where, where there was no sound oh they were uh, talking I Charlie was in Chaplin. one of those. That was one of my first. Charlie movies. Chaplin was not an actor in your world. No, th that was one of my first movies. He was actually sh screaming the lines. Right. Unfortunately, they didn't have the technology to capture thus. Uh, yeah. h hence the the uh, words, you know. Well, I did. I did not know that. I did mm. not know that. I do stand corrected, and I retract everything I've said. Thank you. Everything up to now. The most interesting thing about being alive. The most interesting thing about being alive is that there is no black and white. There are merely many shades of grey. Tom Huddleston said that. Tom Huddleston said that. He didn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he didn't strike me as a guy who believes that. It's mind blowing. Mm -hmm. When you think about it, he's saying there are no absolutes. There is, it's not just black and white. You know, it's not just yes or no. It's not just this or that. There are other options. And he said that, and I wrote it down. That's interesting. Um, uh, um, the guy's got it all. Dodo's Italian accent said Buster Keaton, best Batman. Arguably. Do you know about Arguably. Batman? Yeah, I know a lot about Batman. I know a lot about Batman. I know too much, if anything. Uh... <laughs> Good actor, Batman. Jim Fandango, right. thank you for the two-month resub. Ignore that. Please, ignore that. Uh, I, I'm supposed to ignore the Jim Fandango thing? Yeah, just don't talk about... Consider I'd, I'd rather what? you didn't bring up Jim Fandango. Why? What, uh, who is this guy? You don't want to know about Jim Fandango. I do want to know, very, very dangerous badly. actor. Why do you mean that? Why is he so dangerous? Very dangerous. Stamping around in the theatre, okay? N knocking over co-stars. One of those. One of A those. Stamp. A yeah. knocker. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So much has started on. That. Ugh. Yeah. Do you know any actors that have done very bad jobs? No. No, there is no such thing as a job badly done. There's no such thing mm. as a bad actor. Um, ah. There are there are bad audience members. There are people who don't get it. There are people who would look at someone delivering an unconvincing line um, badly, uh, knocking over various members of staff maybe getting a gun out who knows shooting yeah. the lights out that's and they'll just, go that's i exciting. didn't like that you know yeah it's exciting it's energizing um you know uh, bad audience members come up think look at the maths you've got um three actors on a stage yeah what's the likelihood any of them are going to be terrible okay you've it's got 800 people yeah. All coming in. At least. What's the chance some of them are going to be idiots? Mm. Very 90%. high. 90%. I'd say 90% either way. 90%. And then, Easy. And then it's 90% a bad, 90% chance of it being a bad experience for everyone involved. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's normally, in my experience, when I've been accused of doing a bad job, mm -hmm. it's normally the audience's fault. Yep. Um, I won't say always, but I do mean always. Mm. I um, They come in. Yep. They... They sit down, mm. you know, they've been to Prezzo. Oh, for, God's... Oh, for heaven's sake. Sorry, uh, I get passionate they, about Yeah, they, they're sitting there with their bag of Maltesers. It's pathetic. Um, it is pathetic. You shouldn't and eat on the day. Oh, entertain me because I've come to the West End and I've paid um, £95.90. That's cheap. Grow up. Grow up. And uh, there should be no food eaten on a day when you're going to see anything, frankly. And we know no. that. We know that. Don't Tom, eat on the day. Tom Huddleston knows that. He knows that. Uh, well, Dan I think there are no villains in this world. No villains. There are just misunderstood heroes. Did he say that? He said that, but he's forgot about Hitler, isn't he? Yeah, and Thor. Loads of people. Um, I think that's a badly thought out one. That that's, was probably his That's not the people. best of Tom's work. There are no villains? I think there's right. there's a few. I wouldn't challenge him on it though. No, he he he's very aggressive. So would you? Would, you've actually it's a first, everyone in the um, acting school. Oh, sorry, Lionel Blair. Thank you so much for the two month reset. Ignore that, please. It's, it's Lionel. Lionel. No, don't. Oh, I knew this would happen. In a first of the acting school, 
Uh, the guest yeah. here, Daniel, has actually brought something with them to share. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shall I just Well, play I thought it, it was my or? lecture. I thought it was my lecture. Um, I'm starting to see this as a sort of, uh, I guess, equals thing. Yeah, well, I'm, it's mine. It's not a lecture. So with a couple of equal guys just well, imparting I'm... wisdom, I thought I was here to teach you, but... No, no, I'm, I'm very trained a lot. Sure. On a ferry! Okay, so would you like me to just play the thing you no. brought, or do you want to intro do it? do not just play it. Oh. Never just play something. Okay, you have to tell people what to think beforehand. Okay. So, um, not only do I uh, enjoy people getting sort of um, bad news on the telephone or whatever, but I also enjoy inspiring speeches. Mm -hmm. Every actor should deliver an inspiring speech at some point, preferably to an army or a battalion. Um, the odds should be very much against you. No one believes in you anymore. And yet, through the power of your prose and your delivery, yes. you can turn everything around. The best example of this for me is Jean-Claude Van Damme, um, the best Belgian actor mm. uh, in Belgium. Yeah. He's and a good guy. You know him? Yeah, I know him well. You don't know him? Where, huh? You don't know him? Oh, uh, yeah, I know him a bit. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Where, where, how do you, where did you meet him? I met him in Leeds. I met him there. Oh, you could have been there at the same time. I had to Probably. pop out early because I was... Oh, some I stayed the whole... Me. Yeah, I stayed the whole time. And then oh. we went out after. Yeah, no, I don't do that really. But he's a, he's yeah. a good lad. He knows what's what. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. The worst thing of that night was mm. he ended up burning down a harvester. Okay, so I'm going to play your clip, Daniel. Wait. Uh, it has a great opening line. It's grabby. Okay. He's surrounded by the cream of acting talent. You've got Simon Callow from Four Weddings and a Funeral. You've got Kylie Minogue. Yeah. But what I want you to see also and notice yeah. is when he's delivering his inspiring speech, very often you will see other actors delivering these things and the other actors in the scene don't respond. They're not acting. Okay. I want every shot to be an actor. Acting. You got it. So I was uh, ahead of you there that time. I, you were, I, you were. I knew what you were gonna absolutely, you did. And, and you're you actually did. right. So I'm gonna play it now. Um, Here it is. Are we able to speak over this, or is it just something uh, sure. you enjoy? Sure. You can you can speak over it. I don't know if you'll be able yeah. to hear it though. That's the. Only oh well. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, um, I'll, I'll just let it breathe. Go on. Thank you. Let me just get it up uh, properly for everybody there. Um, there, there it is. Um, and I can. Oh. Oh God. You've lost your balls. Colonel Guile, deliver these instructions to your troops, and then consider yourself relieved of your command. Troopers, is this huh? it? Yeah. I just received new orders. Our superiors say the war is cancelled. Oh. We can all go home. Acting. Yeah. Bison is getting paid off Can for his crimes. Yeah, yeah. And our friends who have Look, died no, here. Here comes the speech. Right. Will have died. What's the other one? This one. But we can all go home. Meanwhile, ideals like peace, oh, yeah. freedom, Acting. Acting. and justice, That's good. they get packed up. But oh. we can all go home. Mm. Well. Acting. I'm not going home. I'm gonna get on my boat, and I'm going up river, and I'm going to kick Lots of that son of a bitch bison's ass oh. so hard mm -hmm. that the next bison wannabe is gonna feel it. Now, who wants to go home, and who wants to go with me? It's up to you. I think that's that was absolutely incredible. Thank you. How and did, yes. And I'm guessing they did that in one take. Just yeah. Wow. And then yeah. no no rehearsal. 
No, pretty much live. Wow. And I know that a lot of those soldiers don't really look like they would make it in a modern army. No. But they convince you, don't they? Mm. With um, subtle nods. Yeah. Or, um, you know, um, just little kind of confused looks like, yeah. you know, the, the, the very because tiny the little... the was cancelled. And that's great. And then, yeah. and then he said, we're going to just do the war regardless. Yeah. And yeah. they said, yeah. That's very powerful. It is very powerful. And I hope I haven't brought things down too much. I, I you know haven't. Lot... I'm just emotional. Yeah, well, you, of course you are. Because I fought in a war. Yeah. You fought in a war? Yeah. Which, which war did you fight in? The, but, um, Falklands. You were in the Falklands? Yeah. You never told me that. Yeah, I didn't. I keep it to myself. It's in my book, but I don't really. How how, how are you? I'm okay now. I'm okay now. If anything, it helped it the it helped it the acting. Yeah. Yeah. How old are you? Seventy. D D Daniel, do you want to do a um? Do you want to do a uh, acting warm up? Is Damn right, I do. Is that something you can handle? It's just of course bantering. it is. Yeah, just bantering. Yeah. I know. I know you can. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah let's do that. But first, um, let okay. me just say, acting is a bit like tennis. It is. In that you can't really do it on your own. Deuce. Hold on. Is did he say that? Yeah, he said that. He's forgotten about monologues. Yeah, and also uh, squash is kind of like tennis. You can hit it against the wall there. Get it back. Get the rebound. And also monologues, yeah. A lot of holes in that one. I, yeah. I started off, I, I brought these quotes with some confidence, I don't mind telling you. And yeah. yet, the more I read, mm. I don't know. This I'll give guy, him a I call this guy after. He says stuff, doesn't he? He just sort of says stuff. He, I'll, give him a, I'll, give him a, I'll give him a Skype video call. Mm. Because, I mean, Tom Huddle, what, what was he in last? Um, I think the Graham Norton show. He was in that, yeah, that was good. Oh, uh, D Daniel! Before we do our first acting warm-up, who who's yes. your favorite? Who's your favorite actors that, whether you're friends with them or regardless, I kind of know all of them. But who, yeah, who do, you, who do you like best? Uh, God, so many. It's such um, a good debate. This one. It's, it's such, such a such, lovely it, question. From the beginning of time, it's raged on and on. It rages constantly. constantly. I would say it would have to be a toss-up between uh, Tom Hiddleston. Yes. Or Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Cruz is pretty good. Cruz is great. He's um, he's an everyman, and I'll tell you what, he he learns the names of all the engineers there, um, and um, he believes uh, that there was a god um, encapsulated within a volcano. Um, ah, yeah. A thousand years ago, and it's such fun talking about that. That's very that's very interesting, Tom. Yeah, he named his daughter Siri. Um, of course. Um, That's a pain. Yeah. Um, hey, Siri. Yeah. And then she has to know everything now. That's a lot of yeah, pressure. He for expects young... her yeah. to know everything. And that's not fair. You know, that's how old fair. is she now? Probably something between two and 15. Two and 15, yeah. And it's not fair on, on, on that little slash mm. big girl. She's my goddaughter. And she, she is. hates it. Yeah. Yeah. So the improv scene we're we're oh no sorry the warm up we're looking at, yeah it's called uh it's called, radio presenter gets bad news now what we'll be doing here I don't know if you've done this sort of thing before it's called improvisation you spent any time in L A. Hello. Radio presenter gets bad news. Radio presenter oh yeah I should do some of that. Radio some presenter. Radio gets presenter. You got it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that's I'm there. good. Let I'm me in. do that. I'm in. Let me do that as well. So, crucially, so what, what's happening here, everybody? Now, this is a, a brand new uh, acting warm-up that's been around for hundreds of years. So, what we're going to do is, uh, so the radio presenter is presenting away. That's his job. That's he absolutely loves his life. Yeah. Music's radio. And yeah, that's it. You got it. He's got it. Error. Look, he's got the radio attitude. And actually, we'll go to the audience now. If anyone wants to um, suggest, Lizzie Costa, no, this isn't voice acting. This is the face. It's a, it would be in a film, or a three-part Channel Four. 
So, I'm going to take a suggestion, if any, anyone wants, to suggest the bad news. So, we'll take turns to do this. Um, I can go... Do you want to go first? Or I'll go first. Because... But, know, yeah, yeah. I would, love, I would love to see you have a go. Thank, well, yeah. More, you know, fair, I'll show you how to. If anyone has a suggestion of the bad news... Um, he's just heard that his parrot has run away. That's a good one. Brexit is off. That would be heartbreaking. Uh, regional, uh, if something has died. Your mother has been clamped. Yeah, no. Bad oh, news: no. his car's being towed. Turns uh, up at a restaurant, but he's uh, day late. Okay, I'm getting years. the idea. I'm getting the idea. These are terrible things. Caravan burnt down. That's uh, been dropped from his show live on air. Uh, his new series was cancelled. Oh. I've never had a serious cancer, so I wouldn't know how that feel. Uh, Harvester burnt down. That's a good mm. one. Mm. So well, I'll do it like this. So he's presenting away, and he receives the bad news. You know, I don't know if you know anything about the radio, Daniel, but normally what happens is, is that you get handed a piece of paper, and right. it's like, you know, um, it will say something like, uh, there's traffic on the road, and you've got to read that. And you've got some yeah. Paper, absolutely, yeah. I don't know if you've been... It's like a drag. It's a, yeah, exactly, like, ugh. Like, you think it's going to be some good news. What now? You think it's going to be good... <laughs> excuse me. You think it's going to be good news about, yeah. you know, Metallica. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah, can't wait to see. And then they're like, there's, there's traffic in the... And you're like, oh, my God. Why do I... I just want to party on a Friday and i got, I got to do it. this I got job. It. I, got it. I think I'm getting it. You think you're getting it. Yeah. So I'll do... Um, I'll do uh, Tom Huddleston is dead. Please don't joke about that because he, he has actually been dead for two minutes before. The uh, the um what was the one I was gonna do? Thank you so much, Wyco, for resubscribing four months. Can I get a refund because I'm late? Absolutely not. You have to pay more for being late. Actually, Wyco, welcome back. Um, uh, if you have a note from your doctor, it's mm -hmm. okay though, right? That's usually okay. Have you got a note from your doctor, Wyco? Wyco? Oh, Wyco? suddenly gone quiet. Yeah. Say no more. Interesting. 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 It's gone quiet over there, as they say. So the news was going to be about um, what should my bad news be? That the um, oh my caravan's burnt down. Okay, fair enough. Been satellite. Okay, <clears throat> right, getting seen. So as we say, doing the radio show receives bad news. Has to continue the radio show as if nothing's happened. Crucially, but that's difficult for him because his caravan had his uh, best friends in it. So <laughs> that's a shame. That's worse. <laughs> it's yeah. And he's going to realise that. He's going to think, well, it's just a caravan. It's a material yeah. object. Then he's going to realise all of my friends. Okay, so. Ah, welcome back to the radio. It's your host there. Just had Kasabian lads there uh, with a banging, banging track. And it was just wicked and re real good. Next up, we're going to be playing uh, some re re some Muse. We're going to play some Muse on the radio. This is Welcome to Radio Town. It's a sunny day in London, UK. That's the capital of the nation we're in. Capital of Britain. Hope everyone's doing all right. Hope everyone's having a good time. Uh, oh, sorry. Producer just handed me some paper. Probably about Metallica <laughs> again. As per, as we say in the radio industry. Okay, let's have a look here. No. This can't be. Is this some sort of Ashton Kushta punked? Is this correct and all true there on the paper? <gasps> okay, well, it's just a material object. Of the, my friends! All right, everyone, and we're going to play some Billy Piper later. She's got a new track. It's a rock song she's doing now. She's changed her entire vibe. And then we're going to be taking suggestions from you. What's your favorite we're doing the game. What's the quiz? What's the, what's the game show today? You can win a ticket to a country. If what's your favorite caravan is the. What's your favorite kind of caravan is the question will be. Can we go to adverts now? No. Keep, go keep going. Keep going. We're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at our more tracks on the playlist. You can phone in and, <laughs> and suggest a track, but we have to go off the playlist because that's the kind of radio station it is. It's seen. Are you okay, Daniel? Thank you. I actually did have a caravan burn down. Just give me a minute. So that was easier to... Don't Sorry, go straight into it. 
That was extraordinary. Um, I still feel it, you know. I'm still feeling really sad. This poor guy. Yeah. He's he's in his element. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He is um, in the flow. It's yeah. Metallica this, and then Billy Piper that, and he's obviously on a strange radio station with very weird playlisting. Yeah. They haven't really figured out who their target market is. I yeah, guess that's the problem. Ads who like Billy Piper and Metallica, and there's no adverts, so I don't know how they make their money. No adverts, so it's obviously failing. He's down on his luck already. All of this is stuff that you brought in with just a few words before the emotional denouement um, Den- that we Den- didn't even see coming, Yeah, which is the caravan. And we're like, oh, my God. And then the idea that these poor people, and you know the locking systems in caravans. Yeah, it's too They're well. not flimsy. They're, They're not, not flimsy. But it's it not a... like they've got windows. Hmm. There's a Molotov cocktail through the um, front of the... And the produce, the way the you you spoke so beautifully about how the producer walks in and, and part of being a radio presenter is just saying whatever you see. Yeah. So you just go, I am playing some music. It is sunny outside. The time is this. Yeah. A man is handing me a piece of paper. It's it says this. Job. You did that. Yeah. But then it became, you know, Bilal time. My friends are and on fire. It was, uh, it was extraordinary. I don't, you know. Wow. Good good job. Thank good you job. very much. I really do appreciate that. As I say, we have some absolutely awful people on here, but you've proven yourself once again to be a decent chap. Do you want to do well, yours? Well, no. Do you, are you sure? Oh, I'm emotionally spent. Um, normally, I would come in and yep. uh, show you how to do it. Okay. And... I'll be honest with you. I didn't have high hopes at the beginning. Mm, thank you. I thought you were a charlatan. Thank you. Um, the people that arranged this were yeah. saying things like, yeah. humor him. Yeah. You know, we think there's something a bit wrong with yeah. him. Thank but you. this is, you know, this is uh, uh, certainly it keeps him busy. Mm. Um, give it, it a go. Yeah. If you can help us out, please, God, help us out. And then <laughs> for 40 minutes, I was like, yep, yep, I get it. And then you did that. Well, what can I say? I, I you know, I was born to do it, frankly. Uh... With any role, mm. you're extending yourself and acting mm-hmm. out things that never happened to you. Well, the lucky thing with me is I've had a lot of experiences in life. And I did have uh, a caravan burned down. My friends weren't in there. But a lot of my friends did. I can't talk about, but they tried to rob a bank. It doesn't matter. But a lot of them, this was when I was in LA. Yeah. And so I've had quite a lot of friends tried to rob a bank. Why didn't they include you? I was in the drive of getaway, but they couldn't prove it. So it's fine. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And and I've been in the you know in the Falklands, and I've done all these things, and it's these experiences that make an actor. I believe you know Tom Huddleston. Yeah. He's done so so much in life. Huddleston, yeah. And then when he writes a book about how, what is it? Tennis is just the um, squash the, of the acting yeah. world. I think that's what he said. That's absolutely spot on what he said. And yeah. I, can't, I can't fault him for it. I'm not no. going to even attempt that. No. So you don't want to do any. You don't want to do the. Go on then. So, so I feel a bit um, ashamed now because you've shown me how it's really done. But go on. So, what's my bad news? So you be yeah. So you'll do back practically the same. Does any anyone have a suggestion there? Would, okay, that's. Okay. Does anyone have a suggestion there? Your mum's been clamped. Line dancing. Thank you, Wycove. He didn't answer about the doctor's note, but he came in with that. Mm. Was, did I make a t-shirt wrong where they meant to say Danny don't s- podcast merch said did I make a t-shirt wrong where they meant to say Danny Wallace is acting school of excellence that's incredibly in- insulting well I think it's a natural if you just tuned in you'd be like oh okay um, so he's teaching Bilal is he a, a friend has joined a cult that's a good one oh. <laughs> do you want to do that or the I... country has a shortage of actors when did uh, his turtleneck shrunk in the wash transfer to channel 5 You've been on Channel 5. Stan Islavsky stopped working. 
you've joined the cult. I, can I say, I've always, had fear, cult. I've always had a fear of uh, my mother being clamped. Do you want to do that one? Or you can do that there's a ghost in the studio. Let's do both. Uh, okay, you do both. So your mum's been clamped and there's a ghost in, in there. Okay. So whenever you're ready. 95.3, it is 18 degrees outside, sunny day. I hope everyone is feeling very well indeed. Mind the wind, of course, it is windy out there. Depending on where you are, it might be windy, uh, it might also be sunny. I don't know, you know, look out your own window. I've just been given a piece of paper and I'll be reading that. Who gave me this, by the way? Sam. But Sam has been dead five years. I saw him. Sam was here. Sharon. You saw Sam, right? Sam came in. No, I'm not joking. Don't, no, don't put the emergency CD on. No, I'm freaked out. Sam walked in. Little Sam. Tiny Sam. Yes, dead Sam. And he gave me this. We'll read it. My mum's been clamped. Scene. Done. Scene, that's Boom. very good. And Wyco pointed out that there is a ghost behind you on the wall. There is. But of course, that also keeps me safe from ghosts. Oh, that's what. Very good. That was excellent, uh, Daniel. It was excellent. It was. Let me tell you why. I painted a picture. Mm. You knew immediately uh, the geography of everybody. Sharon was over there. Okay. Sam, the ghost, was mm. over here. And was he sort of see through? He was, yeah. Yeah, that would have given little, it away. Little red shorts yeah, and a backpack. And he drifted in. And I was so used to seeing Sam, because we obviously had worked together in the past, that I was used to seeing Sam. That's why I was casual. Realised, and I had the paper, Sam had disappeared. Sharon, that was Sam. She says it can't be. I say, well, it was. He gives me the bad news. It's obviously some message from the other side. Your mum's been clamped. Not the car either. I'm actually mean my mother. Oh, I, I yeah, absolutely. The mum has been clamped there. She's on her side um, with a clamp. Uh, near the ball ring centre and um, incapacitated with a big metal thing and two guys from Don't Pay Will Take Your Mum Away. Yeah, that's uh, a good show. Hovering shot. over it. And they're like, give us uh, a lot of money. And you're yeah, like, but oh. I'm on air. Exactly. So that was the that was what I was going for. I really like yeah. that you didn't let them play the emergency CD. That was very classy of you because that's your job. Yeah. And you're taking it seriously. And a lot of... The interesting thing is, everyone, actors are brave like this, okay? Yeah. When you see Tom Cruise in the Saving... When he's a soldier, mm -hmm. he's braver in that than a real soldier. In yeah. WW1 uh, or 2, I forget. It goes... Normally it goes um, uh, police and ambulance and fire, then um, Coast Guard, yeah. and then AA. And yeah. we are somewhere between... Police and ambulance. Absolutely. And then what's next? Like uh... scouts. Scouts. What? What? what wonderful. Now, um, the, so I'll see. The the arts are being massacred worse than any war boss. Thank you so much, Kurt Antoinette. Kurt Antoinette. That's a very good Let point. Me, uh, the oh oh good. Sorry. The I high end was, arts. I, I mean, thought I that was a comment. I thought that was a comment on our acting, but oh. actually it was supportive. It was supportive. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and can I just say, I don't mean the low-level arts of small art centres. We're talking about the opera, the top-end, yeah. you know, £500 yeah. pounds a ticket. I'm not I'm not interested in the lower... No, 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 no. Please, no, no. don't even talk about that. You know? Um, I'm not sure what to do now. We can, ha we can do a couple of things. You can pick, DW. In fact, the best thing to do... You can't Why don't pick. we do some trust exercises? How do you do that? I don't know, but it sounds good. Sounds like the kind of thing uh, that we could do. So, um, I am going to fall? ask you. I'm oh. going to ask you, Bilal, to trust me. Well, that's. I can't really, because we're kind of rivals in the industry. Do you trust me or not? This is the thing about um, actors. We have to trust one another to be there, to pick up the pieces, to respond, to bring things forward. You have to know that if I say something to you, you're going to say something back. You're not going to create dead ends. You're not going to create cul-de-sacs. You're going to create vast motorways of emotion oh, gosh, for us both to drive down HS2. to glory. HS2. HS2. Yeah. Create. 
So Thanks. one of the most simple acting exercises is simply about trusting the person you are with. Do you agree you're with me now? Yeah, I guess so. What I'm going to ask you to do is simply fall backwards and I will catch you. Okay. Now? Yeah. All right, Close you your ready? eyes. Close your eyes. All right. Fall backwards and I will catch you. Okay, ready? Are you holding me? I'm not. I dropped you. And this is one of the most important lessons that you can learn, um, is that not every actor has your back. Some actors, um, they will let you down, literally let you down. Yeah. And I just let you down, yeah. but by letting me let you down, you let me down. I actually, I actually appreciate what you've done. Thank you. Which I didn't expect. We no. can do one... I'm not going to ask you to fall because I'll just be honest. I would not catch. I would. I'd, and we do it on the side of a building, but that's just because that's how important acting is to me. And I have to get rid yeah. of uh, opposition. As you... It's a high wire act. Yeah. Uh, we could do this if you want. We could do. Um, oh, we could do um, a job interview. Great. So I'll interview you for a job, but there's a twist to everybody as there should always be in everything. Um, we're gonna. Have you seen Secret Window starring Johnny Depp? I've seen everything. It's really, really good. I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's. The job interview is. I'm going to be interviewing for a role, but actually, it's a front for a um, criminal organization. But you. And it says that. that in the. And it says that in the in in the job application. No. No. No, that's crucial. So. But I've have I applied? You've applied. It's just Waitrose. But do have I really applied for yeah. the criminal enterprise? No, you don't know about it. Or maybe you do, but you should Or maybe I do, but I shouldn't. Okay, uh, come in. We're oh, starting. Have a seat. Who, is someone else coming in? There's... I'm in there. Yeah. No, am I outside? Yeah, okay. I'm outside. Do you want to come in? Okay. Hey, do you want to come in? You're going to have to project more. Do you want to come in? Hello. Sorry, is I'm he here? confused. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm come and have a seat. Oh, Shame. sorry. Thank you. I, could, I just, you were talking very low. I, I couldn't work out whether you were calling for me or not. Oh, I was. And there was the uh, secretary out there, and I assumed that you would ask her to send me in. Sorry. No, I don't. We're not talking. First rule of Waitrose is expect the unexpected, and ah. as you should know from reading the Waitrose.co.uk. Yeah. So, yeah. so I thought this well, was a Tesco, so it is unexpected. Yeah, no, we're much more classy than th that. Mm. Thank you so much, Mark is to Anson for subscribing. Ignore that. That's just to do with uh, that's to do with HR. That's the HR department I was just talking to there uh -huh. for subscribing to the. Yeah. Now, t t uh, so did you have fun getting here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Funny story. Um, oh yeah. Um, the 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 bus I was in crashed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that you didn't die because. <laughs> no, I know it was. Uh, I, w I was fortunate. I was at the back of the bus. Um, uh, the front of the bus was decimated. But it, it's a story. What a joy! And let me just tell you this then. Uh, glad that happened, not to you, the death. But Thank you. glad you made it here because we've had a lot of workers disappear. Quit. Ah, quit. Mm. Ah, well, a quitter is as a quitter does, and um, quitting is not for me. In fact, I'll what? tell you this: the only thing I've ever quit is quitting, <laughs> which I realise makes me a quitter. Uh, Keep up the bantering like that, boy, and you'll be rising up the ranks through to the uh, the bread section. You can if Whoa. you want. Yeah. Do you want well, it? Would, well, I'm all about the bread. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the actual bread. Or the dough. It's uh, £6.50 an hour. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so tell me about yourself. What you well, doing? what do you want to know? What do you what, what, what do you expect from the job? What do you well, um, just a straightforward, honest yeah. job, hmm. honest work, 
for honest pay. I'm mm. all about the honesty. I just want to get there, work hard for you, pay my taxes, mm. um, report shoplifters, maybe move up to security because I've always been drawn to law enforcement. Um, I'm very moral. You're not with the cops. Huh? You're not in the police. No, not okay. yet, but I hope to be one day mm. through hard work and perseverance, starting right here at Waitrose. Waitrose or Tesco, isn't I really a, a route to being an officer, but it could be. We don't take too kindly to the police round here, sir. In fact, let me ask you this: Let's say you're stacking shelves one day, and we ask you to drive up town to Somerset, and yep, yeah, like that, and you know, deliver us some bread. But within the bread, let's just say, let's just, for argument's sake, it's just cocaine in there. Well, that would be weird. Um, first of all, we have, I believe, a wonderful fleet of vans that operate through the Ocado system out of Brentford. Mm. They then go up and down the country using the nation's A roads, B roads, and trunk routes, delivering our produce left, right, and centre. Yeah, you're not hearing. So me. also, I don't know why they wouldn't be doing this through the delivery centre, the main delivery centre. Why are they using this one in Chingford? Why? Why? Why would someone order some bread from hey, Chingford? I'll I'm stacking with shelves. You. Then I've got to get in a van and deliver yeah. one loaf of bread one all the way up bread. there. And then what? I Some open stuff. it and I see that there's cocaine. Don't in open there. it. Don't open it. I'd call the police very quickly. Right, don't do that. And also, let's just say between us, you 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 you're driving up there, and then that happens thus. Yeah. And look, it's it is what it is. And we're the mafia. We are the chi we are the chi what? Chigwell mafia. Hang on. The Chigwell... You did not say that before. No, we have to keep it secret. But we got. I've got to go. No, I've got a gun. You can't. All right, then I'll do. Then I'll do it. Then you'll do it. Thank you. And scene. That's wow. very. That's very powerful. I did not know where that was going there. And then when you mentioned the gun, I was like, absolutely, I'm on board, and I will be forever. Mm. And that, I stayed true to the character, as did you. And um, and I don't think waitress could sue for that. They can't. They don't have any money. Ah. That's secret. But they've. It's, it's ending for them bankrupt. Oh, really? Bankruptcy, yes. They're closing down everything. God. Now, we normally finish at 9 o'clock, uh, Daniel. So... But we're going through till 12. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, and... Yes. yes, we are. We're correct. <laughs> and... Uh, does anyone have any questions um, before we go? Because it's reached the time, and I believe, you know, you've got um, an acting school to teach of your own. I do, I do, I do. I teach local urchins. And yeah. um, you know the orphans you see near bridges? I know I them. I go yeah. and I work with them. And, I was um, one. Huh? I was one. One of mine? Yeah. Is that why you brought me here? For revenge? Not for revenge, for to show you how far I've... Wait. Get closer to the camera. Billy. You kept the polo neck. I kept the polo neck. You gave it. And I haven't washed it once. It's absolutely horrible. Oh, Billy. Well, look, things will get better for you. Thank you. Well, no, they're pretty good now. Well, they'll get You've got better. got a million in the bank. Hmm. Have you? How much have you got? Million one. Okay, well, I think on that note, if anyone has a question uh, for either me or the... Excuse me. For either me or the guest, uh, the what's, guest. What's his name? Yeah. Um, you you can fire away. I'm gonna look for someone to raid, which is a, ignore that. Um, and uh, the weird thing about serious acting, yeah, is I've always done impressions of people all my life, and I did the thing called a balloon debate. The idea is there's a hot air balloon travelling across the Atlantic and it's going down and you have to give a speech as to why you should stay in the balloon. Six people are going to be chucked out and you want to stay. That, Bilal, is the Tom Hiddleston challenge that I would like to give you as a present. Um, so what do I do? You have to train future students with the balloon debate. You both pretend you're in a hot air balloon 
and it's going down. And you have to convince each other using nothing more than the spoken word and the power of your metaphors to convince the other that they should jump off and you should stay. Tom Hiddleston's balloon debate. I trust Tom Hiddleston. Huddleston, excuse me. Maybe. You don't. Maybe. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and it's been wonderful to see you again after 65 years. Yeah, it's great to see that you're on the way to doing well. Uh, I have. Don't go anywhere because you have to sign a release. I'll sign anything. But we're gonna we're gonna raid now, which means we send everyone that that's here to some other place. Yeah, about time. Yeah, Ian Lee. He's called. He's uh, an actor. Don't know. He's a Hollywood. There aren't. There's no one in Hollywood called Ian. Okay, everyone. We're gonna end. We're gonna end here. Thank you so much for joining us in this session. I'm sorry if I missed any of the alerts. I don't have them set up. And thanks cool, again, man. Daniel. No worry. You'll PayPal me, yeah. Yeah, ten thousand. Thanks. We'll sort that. You better. Um. And that's done. Let me close this. So I can.